Understanding, that's a tough one. A guide for English learners. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into a commonly used English phrase, that's a tough one. This expression can be a bit tricky for English learners, so we're here to break it down for you. Whether you're just starting out or looking to polish your English skills, understanding these nuances can greatly improve your fluency. Let's get started. When someone says, that's a tough one, they're indicating that a question, problem, or situation is difficult to answer or solve. It's often used in casual conversations when the speaker needs a moment to think about their response or when they believe there's no straightforward answer. This phrase helps convey hesitation or uncertainty in a polite and socially acceptable way. 1. That's, is a contraction of, that is, referring to the specific question or problem being discussed. 2. A, serves as an article, setting up the noun that follows. 3. Tough, describes something that is hard to deal with, solve, or endure. In this context, it signifies difficulty. 4. 1. Refers back to the question, problem, or situation encapsulating it as a singular entity that the speaker is addressing. Together, the phrase communicates the speaker's perception of the difficulty involved in providing an immediate or simple answer. This phrase can be used in various contexts, from casual chats to formal discussions. Here are a few examples. In response to a complex question, what do you think is the key to happiness? That's a tough one. When faced with a difficult choice, would you rather have more time or more money? Hmm, that's a tough one. During interviews or discussions, what's the biggest challenge you faced in your career? That's a tough one. It's a versatile phrase that helps to soften the conversation, allowing the speaker time to think or acknowledge the complexity of the topic. Understanding phrases like that's a tough one, is crucial for navigating English conversations naturally. It's not just about the words but the context and the subtle cues it provides about the speaker's thoughts and feelings. We hope this video helps you feel more comfortable and confident in using and understanding this phrase. Happy learning, and see you in the next video!